Welcome to Harper Valley Farm, where we started with a one acre property with just a couple of goats and learning to be self-sufficient. But with all our ups and downs, we are now back at our family farm, or shall I say, my parents' property, where we have doubled in size with our sheep and goats and everything else, where we are learning to homestead and be more self-sufficient. Follow us as we document our real and raw homesteading journey. Good morning, Pinky. Good morning, Amy. Well, good morning, everyone. Probably wondering why there's a goat in my house. Well, Miss Pinky here got booted off her mama. So, she's living in the house with her us. So, we gotta get on with our day. So, you, yes you, you need a bottle. And we gotta check on to see if we have some lambs and we gotta check everybody else. So, let's get to it. Well, good morning. How are we doing with all these babies? Yeah, all together. How are you doing with your babes? Good. And are we going to have babies today or tomorrow? Here's Monkey. Here's Donkey. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Small but mighty. So Miss Blossom is finally <coughs> in labor. She is day 153. We have a lot of overdue does this year. Hey Blossom. What do you say, girl? Yeah, you're a noisy girl. You didn't ma let me sleep last night. Just screaming. But let's give you a brushing because your winter coat is just coming right out, huh? Yeah. 
I think we're pushing now. We are. All right, girl. <laughs> I know, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tulip is ready. Yeah. yeah, she is. <laughs> I'm starting to see something. You get real. Oh, there's the bubble. That's a big kid. to take my gloves off and everything. Holy crap. Holy <sighs> What's with all the messes this year? Here, I gotta go right back in. I don't wanna take a chance. Glove up. There's a mess in there. Feel kids one after another. <laughs> yeah, we have a mess in there. I'm trying to figure out where this baby's head is. These gloves are just not working. <laughs> The I can't get that head. Yeah, keep on pushing, girl. Come on. Yeah. Oh, 
This is the worst one I've ever had to deal with. Come on, push, 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 push. Come on, push. Come on. You need to get that head in position, girl. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, you're getting it. Almost there. Yeah. This is an absolute, no, I don't like this. Oh, this has been an absolute terrible kidding season. At least it's alive. I am not liking this. Oh. Damn it. Here, take another one. Uh. I need to take a minute. Oh, my stuff just went out the window there. I went in with my hands because I could not get a good grip with the baby and you should never do that but I'll give her a shot of antibiotics just to be careful with it. I don't know if she has any more. I'm definitely gonna give her a shot, like I was saying, because I was in there as well. Ugh, these two are a tangled mess. We got two healthy kids, at least. They were a huge mess. You, yes you, were a tangled mess. He was coming out like upside down and sideways, so that's why I couldn't get him out and his head was back. So I had to put him all the way back in, flip him around, and pull him out. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but probably a boy, he's huge. This one was head was back and sideways as well, so I had to reposition it as well. Oh my goodness, this year has been absolutely terrible. It's making me want to not do goats anymore. But I know I love them so much. Let's see what you guys are anyways, huh? Well, I'm freaking out. We have a gorgeous little boy. Let me guess, you're going to give me both boys this time again, huh? And we got a girl. You are a girl. Wow. The huge one is a girl. <laughs> Let's help mommy, huh? You are big. Big, big girl, huh? We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started to think. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my 